Welcome to this product tutorial. Today, I'm excited to tell you about our Dwyer Thermal Dispersion Flow Switch, the Series TDFS. Thermal dispersion flow switches have many advantages over mechanical flow switches since there are no moving parts such as paddles or vanes, offering better long-term reliability and life expectancy. There are no moving parts to wear that could create leaks or switch failures, no parts to get jammed or stuck from particulate in the media, and no parts that can break off into the flow, causing downstream damage in pipes or valves. Additionally, since the thermal switch only needs to be inserted 10% into the flow, the pressure drop is much lower. The TDFS has a maximum of only 4.5 inches of water column at the highest value of the set point range. TDFS flow switches are inserted into the pipe and measure the fluid velocity moving past the probe using an impulse thermal dispersion method. With this technique, the probe is heated to a temperature above the process temperature and then is allowed to cool back down to the process. The flow rate is determined from the rate at which the probe cools down. The flow switch has a field adjustable set point over the range of 0.5 to 10 feet per second. Use the included magnet and just place against the side of the switch at the set point target, while at the desired flow rate. The TDFS has both normally open and normally closed NPN outputs, allowing the unit to indicate too high of a flow or too low of a flow. The TDFS features two LED status indicators located on each side, providing local visual indication of switch status with red-green color change. The TDFS is constructed for suitability in a wide variety of applications with 150 PSIG pressure rating, 316 stainless steel body, and NEMA 4X weatherproof rating. Now that you've seen just how advantageous our TDFS is, please go to our website and see how affordable this flow switch is for your flow proving needs. And as always, thank you for making Dwyer Instruments your instrumentation leader.